what is going on guys so today it's a pretty windy afternoon it's about 3 15 right now getting out um i don't know you know it's been really productive for me to throw artificial shrimp along docks you know i've been catching a lot of snook like that and i've caught quite a few quality snook over the past week or so doing that as well you know snook over 30 inches surprisingly you know i'll probably start out flipping the little docks you know with the artificial shrimp and throwing them but then once I move on, I'm going to start throwing some bigger swim baits right here because I've picked up some really, really sick swim baits, honestly. Like, I have a few. I'll show you one I've tied on already, though, right now. If I can manage to not hit this mangrove. Um, you know, right here, this is a very brand new bait. It is a live target swimming mullet. I don't know if you guys have seen these things. They are sick. I have only thrown it about three or four times. I haven't even fished with it yet. But... It is one of the most realistic looking mullet presentations that I've ever seen in my life. And so I'm gonna see if that works today too. So I'm gonna be fishing that a lot and maybe stick a big fish on one of those hopefully. But gonna be focusing on docks because I think that's where the fish are hanging out right now. At least that's what seems to be working for me. But hopefully we can get on some fish today. We're gonna get at it. Oh God, what the heck is that? I think it's a ladyfish. I was just reeling the shrimp as fast as I could. Oh, it's a barracuda. It's definitely interesting. Old stinker. I'm not sure what I was dealing with here at first. Alright, there's a little cooter right there, just a little 15 incher. That was kind of very surprising. That was awesome. The shrimp was landing. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, now pull out. Okay. That was a uh, touch and go there. He pretty much ate that when it dropped. I really have no idea how big this snook is. It's a decent size. Okay. Very cool. Very, very cool. Whew. That was very awesome. He literally ate the shrimp. Like, it kind of skipped off the water and he ate it on the skip, essentially, like a top water. He wanted it, I guess. I'm going real loose on them because once once I get them out of the dock, I like to loosen up on them. But all right, that's a decent little snook right there, probably 24 inches or so. Um, that's the first snook of the day. Caught a barracuda earlier, but that's pretty cool. You know, like I was saying when I was fighting them, it was very very cool because he ate it pretty much like a top water where the shrimp was skipping through the dock, and he ate it as it was skipping. So that was pretty awesome. He's um, golden yellow, very, very beautiful colored fish. When they get back in the river in kind of these tannic waters, they get this kind of golden color, and they're just absolutely beautiful, beautiful fish. That was awesome. I felt it eat and I kind of swung at it and I think it missed it or, oh, there he goes right there. Come on. Oh, good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish. He's not even that big of a fish. Oh, I got boat wake about to sling me up against this thing and I got this fish on this piling right here. Alright, there you go. He's turned. That was like the worst possible time that boat could come by and throw up a ton of wake. Alright, just a little, little snook right there. That was just terrible, terrible timing. That was something else. He had me wrapped around two different pilings and a boat came by and threw off a big wake right now pushed against the dock. Interesting though, it's got some missing fin parts, but we'll get him back in. All right, I got some, uh, the winds died down a little bit and so is the boat traffic. So I figure I'm gonna talk to you guys real quick about artificial shrimp right here. You know, why, why I throw them so much and kind of explain my reasoning and my thoughts behind them essentially. You know, 
I guess the best way to compare them, because not everyone's a snook fisherman that watches my videos. You know, I know a lot of you guys are from up north and fish for largemouth or striper. Or, you know, some of you don't have snook, or you may be red fishermen. But the shrimp, in my mind, it's essentially the equivalent to throwing, like, a Senko or a Texas rig worm, like a Texas rig trick worm for bass fishing, you know? It's very simple. It's not that glamorous, but it just catches a lot of fish. You know, typically, you guys know if you're throwing sankos and trick worms and stuff you catch a lot of small fish but sometimes you catch some good sized fish as well some good sized bass and that's kind of the comparison i like to make this too you know it's a really slow way to fish but the numbers on it can be very very great and with this i am just slowly bouncing it like i would fish a texas rig no joke i let it sink all the way to the bottom and i just slowly 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 bounce it off the bottom one after another and just really creep it across the bottom and that's that's how i get bit most of the time either on the fall or while it's sitting completely still you know i know a lot of people like to work these shrimp almost like a fluke or a jerk bait you know sometimes it works but it's just not as consistent you know if you look at how this rig it's rigged right there you see it's through the head so it's going forward shrimp lobster craws they don't swim fast forward when they're swimming or fleeing they go backwards and so it doesn't really make sense to pull this really quickly through the water like that that's just not how it's going to work you know so the best way to fish these in my opinion is you let them sink and you literally let it sit there on the bottom and you twitch it a little bit like that because you're not representing a fleeing shrimp with this thing right here you're representing a foraging shrimp you know a shrimp that's dug down in the mud and he's just shuffling around doing his thing and that's the best way to fish it you know you got to think about how this presentation is gonna look the best. I'm about to run into a dock here. That's my two cents about shrimp. I'm gonna get on the trolling motor and stop us from hitting this dock. But yeah, you know, they're very effective. They're not a glamorous way to fish, but number-wise, you really can't beat them in my opinion. That's all I'm gonna say about them. Oh God, get out, get out. Oh my God, what's going on here? Oh, this. Nook. Okay, he's out, he's out, he's out, he's out. That was so absurd. I don't even understand what just happened. That was the dock too that I was just like running into while I was talking. And I can't believe this fish just came out and smoked it like that. That was uh, interesting to say the least. Whew. He's a decent sized snook. That's a good snook. Not huge, it's probably Maybe slot size just under. Hook popped out just like that. There we go. Absolutely killer. Like I was just talking about, you know, with the Texas rig, it's, or the Texas rig, that's what I mean. With the shrimp, it's a numbers game, and you get some quality fish like that. You know, he is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful snook. Oh, there's a big fish right here. I don't know where he's at right now. There was a big fish trying to eat a mullet over here. Oh God, there he is, holy crap. He's on the other side of his dock. There is no way I'm getting this fish. He is out and through the other side of this dock. Oh my god. Oh, frick. Oh my gosh. This is a big freaking snook. <sighs> Broke me off on the dock. I was ripping that swim bait that I literally just bought yesterday across these dock pines and you just saw him just cream it and just instantly through the other set of pilings and he was out by the boat lift over here and that's just a bummer dude I hate I hate breaking off fish and leaving line and lures gosh dude that was a big fish though alrighty I am done for the night you know it was productive night I guess would be the best way to say you know caught six fish three jack three snook and i lost a very very nice snook man 
I mean, I was just working that swim bait really quickly across the top along the edge of a dock piling, and he smashed it and didn't even give me a second to react before, you know, he was through two dock pilings on his way to the boat lift. And, I mean, you guys saw I went really light on my drag and was really trying to get to that fish, but the docks around here are just full of oysters and barnacles. That's all right, though. You know, I feel I, I hate having to do that sometimes, but, you know, it's the kind of thing that happens. You know, if you guys fish, you understand that that happens especially with snook or bass, structure-oriented fish. But regardless of that, you know, it was a good night. I'm gonna have to go pick up another one of those swim baits, I guess, because they clearly work. Um, you know, it was a lot of fun. You know, the shrimp, you know, I already gave my whole big spiel about it. You just can't underestimate the power of those things. You know, they're, they're numbers lures. It's like throwing a shaky head or Texas rig worm or a Senko or something, you know. They just get fish in the boat. And sometimes it's just running through those fish until a big one shows up, you know. Like, I've been very fortunate the past week I caught a couple of big ones on just a small DOA shrimp. And, you know, it works. It does, you know. It might not always catch big ones, but this time of year, especially winter, is the time to be throwing artificial shrimp maybe even go throw live shrimp if that's what you're into but i'd like to challenge you to throw some artificials but you know regardless it was a really beautiful day you know it's just you can't possibly complain about getting out in the water catching some little snook you just can't complain about it but i appreciate you guys i'm almost to 10,000. i'll probably be there within the next two days or so two or three days so i you know, I really, really appreciate that. It's very, very cool of you guys. And I will make a video, or I got in my head, of what the uh, 10K, I don't know, celebration, what I'm, what I'm going to do for 10K. You know, I already got that in mind. And soon enough, I'll show you that, guys. That. I'll make a video about it. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you for your support. I will see you soon enough.